G'day. What you're about to watch is the analog version of my time blocking system that I used for years uh, with a bullet journal. You can find the whole videos, everything about time blocking that I've done on Skillshare uh, at curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, take you to the site, and then you can search time blocking and find my course on time blocking. Buckle up. Let's see how I did analog time blocking for, I don't know, years, years and years. Now we're going to go over, you can see I did this for a long time and build out basically the same schedule in a bullet journal by paper. I actually really like doing this to start because it helps you see what's changed in your week uh, and what or how you need to deal with um, deal with those changes so that you just know going forward what that means. So you're gonna need a few things. Oh, so I dig my pencil back out of here. Because evidently the tip of my pencil came off. Always recommend starting with a pencil just because it's gonna help. So there's my pencil. Uh, it's gonna help you to make corrections. And one of the first things we're gonna do is I'm going to create um, for the schedule ahead. So I'm looking at my calendar up over here on the one side. And I know that it is going to be the seventh on Monday. So I go zero, seven, and I always left one, two, three, four, five. Kind of like that. It's gonna be eight. And then I would just kind of guess. Nine, 10, you know, like that, 11. And 12 is Saturday. So now going down the side, I'd go, and I start at six, so I go, oh, 600, and then one, two, three, four, five, oh, 900, kind of every three hours, one, two, three, four, all right? 1200, 1500, 1800, kind of the end of my day, but I'd always leave just a little extra. So from here, I would draw some lines just to help frame my day. I'd actually do this in pen um, once I got used to it. I'm just doing it in pencil right now for you to see as well. I draw some lines like that just to give me some good structure. And then I know that 12 actually has a 13 in it. So I would also come in here and just go like this to make my Sunday. It's 13. There you go. Next up, I'm going to give myself some ticks. I'm going to go, see that's nine, just so that it's easy to see. 12, 15, and 18 is fine. I'm going to come over here and go, oh, 600, oh, nine, 12, 15. There you go. And again, I would just do ticks again, tick. There we go. Now in this area is where I'd write my task for this week, right? So I had grabber field. What else do they have for them? So let's right, go back up to my task manager and I take a look. And I know the sales page is the most important. this will get prov. Uh, I know that when well, I'm going to work for Ronald, so I'm not going to put his stuff down there. I know that I have some follow up, right? To follow up Justin. And Adele. And Frank. And it was the last one. And Matthew, I have to follow up with as well. 
And you get the idea. I'm not going to get them all in there. Um, what else do we have? I need to write. Write. Terra. Pro. And I also need to write. Strong. Daughters. So I have an idea of kind of where my week is going to sit now already, but just by looking at that. And I'm going to go and start with red. These are going to be all the kind of limits on my week. So I know that I've got to drop off skating here. So I got kids. I know that today skating is more around five. So I would put in here 1700 skating. I know here it's again at three. Skating. Pretty sure this week, my this Thursday, my wife is doing late. Um, so that puts her closer to like 1600 is skate. And then she will have to do uh, 1600 again on Friday. I think it's every other Friday off. Done. And the other thing I know is she's in a course on the weekend. So let's put that in. See why is Cynthia for my wife? Of course. Good. Okay, next we're going to do uh, green for my fitness. So I'm going to go on a run. Run. And I actually need to note here, just grab my pencil again for this, that I need to shoot some video for the Terra Pro. I need to have some B-roll for that. Run on Tuesdays. I usually go uh, tempo somewhere in the middle of the day. Tempo. I need to ask Marion about that. Wednesdays, I'll usually go for a ride. Thursdays, I'll do track or hills. It's track right now. Uh, even before six, actually. Like often I'm on the track at 5.30 in the morning. And then Friday, I know next Friday, because um, my wife is away, I'm going to go at like 9 o'clock. I'm going to go ride for a big gravel ride, 80K or something. So I should take all day. Leave myself all day. Perfect. So now I can start to slot in these tasks, right? We knew that I'm going to read in the morning. So let's just put that down. Read. And I'm going to read there and then i'm going to wednesday i'm going to read again thursday actually no i'm not going to read thursday usually but i'll start by doing my friday email it's kind of just a standard one i didn't really talk about it in the digital version because it was already in there it said friday email friday i'm going to do Patreon in the morning, I'm going to do, I'm not sure yet what, and I need to, I mind to plan next week. Those are the two important ones, plan week. So I'd be doing either the digital or the analog version of what you're watching right now. So then I know on um, Tuesday, I even say tempo is probably not right there. I'm probably not gonna do it there. Uh, I'm gonna actually do Ronald at nine. Ronald, and then I need to drop off at Ten hundred CY bike, and then I'm going to do my follow up. I actually think just because of how this day with that bike in the middle there, because I know I have to do that, then it would break up my tempo run anyways. So I'm going to have lunch, uh, and I'm going to come back at thirteen hundred, and I'm going to do prov, and then I have at probably 1600 tempo. That means I'll just sneak in for lunch. It's about an hour of tempo uh, running. So hard, hard running. Terra Pro, that'll take me to then. And then I know that I'm doing prov for the afternoon. So nine, so I'm gonna put in video here, right? So it'll be record or finish scripts if I need to, finish B-roll if I need to. And then in the afternoon, I'm leaving this blank. This is just a client block. I know I have my Friday email. Again, a video block here if I need it. So I'll put 
video. If I don't need it, I won't worry about it. And this is a blank client block. So I basically have two blank client blocks. And that's how I planned my week. For years, I have like a shelf full of these notebooks. Then when I came into the day, what I would do is, this is the seventh, so I'd go 07, 2020, and I would just label it down. I'd go six, seven, all right, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 18. And I know, right, I can flip back here and say, well, I'm going to read first. So I'm actually probably be in the office before that and read, but I read till seven. And I'm going to write, Alexa, stop. And then I'm going to write, write daughters. I'm going to run till noon. And I'm going to work on prob till three. And so what I do is if I have to correct any of these, um, I would actually just cross it out and I'd write in the next line. Then over here, I would keep just kind of a running tally of the day, usually what's happening, any other notes that come up in my day, so I can just see what's happening and how I need to adjust my schedule as the day happens. That's it, that's how I do my time blocking um, in an analog form, right? And if I flip back, you'd see, right there it is there. My daughter wanted to play with some markers, but there it is there again. All right, there's one I didn't really finish, right? There's some other ones, All right? And I have a weekly thing in here regularly, right there. See, weekly, same idea you saw. Now, just like that. So those are the two methods that I really have really used for a long time with time blocking that have worked for me really well for a long time. Thanks for watching the course. If you have any questions about time blocking, what you need to do, what you know, adjustments can be made, please leave them along with the course and I will do my best to get back to all of them.